Textron Island conducted the first air-to-surface weapons trials of its Scorpion jet during a series of live firings at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico in mid-October. The firings, which took place from 10 to the 14th of October and announced on the 19th of October, saw the Scorpion fire the Lockheed Martin AGM-114F Hellfire II air-to-surface missile. The BAE Systems Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System APKWS and unguided Hydra 70mm rockets. A ground-based laser designator was used in the first instance, with the aircraft self-designating in later tests using its L3 Westcam MX-15 die. Electro-Optic Infrared EOIR sensor turret. First revealed in September 2013. The tandem twin-seat and twin-engine Scorpion jet has been developed to suit mission sets including counter-insurgency, border patrol, maritime surveillance, counter-narcotics, and air defense. In a package set to cost no more than 20 million United States dollars to procure and 3,000 United States dollars per hour to operate, Textron Airland has built the aircraft around a two. 3 meters cubed payload bay in the center of its fuselage that can accept a variety of sensors and weapons systems, depending on the mission. Scorpion also has six underwing hard points, three on each side to carry additional sensors, fuel, or weapons. It has been seen at a number of air shows carrying the Textron G4 and Textron Thales Fury. Guided Light Munitions Company supplied performance specifications give the Scorpion a top speed of 450 knots, a service ceiling of 45,000 feet, and a ferry range of 4,450 kilometers. One flying prototype has been built to date, with a production standard aircraft expected to make its maiden flight shortly.